Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos or when I might be going live here one of these days. Of course, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a fan and I guess fall favorite and that is the Hugo Box. Now Hugo Box comes in two different subscription tiers. You can do their standard box, which is what I used to get, and that's $28 a month plus $10 in shipping, and that always guarantees you four to five items. Or you can do their deluxe box, which is what I've since upgraded to. Now this is $39.95 plus $12 in shipping, but you're always going to get five to seven items. So I decided to upgrade just because I do enjoy the subscription so much, and I feel like fall is the perfect time to get a little bit more of that Hugo coziness so let's get into this box and see what it is now this is technically my September box it just came a little bit late in the month now inside now this is different they always kind of switch up their tissue paper like once per season so I'm always interested to see now I've got their classic square kind of postcard that always has the information about the products on the back and I love this one because they took some like dry fall leaves to create this image so pretty I don't know why but my card always comes creased and it's always just sitting right on top but I think the the box kind of gets a uh, little bent in in shipping every time it always gets a little bit beat up so it says that our theme is finding comfort in autumn. It's that time of year when we begin to settle into fall, when those calm, contented months of summer drift into autumn. The cozy feeling that comes with the season is soothing and comforting. Let's take a moment to pause and appreciate this time to slow down and remember what's important. Relaxing and restful Sundays at home are a good place to begin. So then they don't actually include the retail values. I do wish they did, but they don't. Um, but they just sort of put in bold what the items are and then like write a little paragraph about everything. So I'm just gonna prop this up in front of me so that I can see it and hopefully reference it. And then it does always at the bottom tell us what the deluxe box includes that the standard box did, did not. But the tissue paper now is very, very pretty. It's got like this almost like thistle pattern where it's got, um, you know, like a lime green and then a purple flower. So that's a new tissue paper. I'm excited about that the little things and then inside everything's always nestled in a bunch of brown foozles and it looks like we've got a nice full box this round so right on top is one of our edible indulgences they always promise that you get an edible indulgence and an element of light so that's always kind of a fun part of the box so this time it looks like I've got two packets of steeped coffee, one in the Driftwood blend, which is a French roast, and one in the Odyssey blend, which is a dark roast. And they're both out of Santa Cruz, California. So it's kind of fun. Even though Hugo is a Danish concept, it is certainly something that is appreciated these days, at least around the world. So it says, take your moment at home, work, or on the go with steeped coffee, a great cup of coffee anytime, anywhere. Odyssey yields a dark chocolate flavor and caramelized sweetness for the most inviting of journeys. Driftwood is a French roast that uses caramelization to bring together creamy dark chocolate and dark sugary sweetness for the most delicious of treasures. Steeped coffee bags are filled with 100% specialty direct trade craft coffee that's hand roasted locally in small batches, precision ground to the micron, and nitro sealed for freshness. So it's kind of like a tea bag, but with coffee, and I love that. It's so great for travel, and I'm not like one of those fancy coffee people who has like pour over coffee at home or fancy, fancy coffee pots or brewers. So it says you just submerge the filter in a cup and gradually pour eight ounces of, of hot water over the steep bag, dunk it for 15 seconds or longer for added strength and then leave to preferred taste. So they say, uh, drink after five minutes, let it ride. So that sounds very Santa Cruz. All right, so that's a great item. I'm happy to have it. And I love that it sounds like these coffees have a hint of chocolate in them, that's great. So it looks like our element of light is a good old candle from Hugo House, which is what they use most of the time when we get candles. Now this one says it is has scents of apple, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, orange, and vanilla. So we are definitely getting into fall. So let me just unscrew that. They always have like really simple like glass jars with lids, nothing like crazy in terms of the actual container. I wish sometimes we would get like some sort of home decor candle that was like, you know, a 
the container that you would probably keep afterwards. I definitely smell the apple in there and of course the cinnamon actually it smells like apple pie. It smells like delicious delicious apple pie. I wish that it was cold enough for me to enjoy a delicious delicious apple pie. But I can eat apple pie cold like I think it's awesome. So let's see what it says. Hmm, I think maybe this is the candle. Hmm, I don't know. I think this is the candle. It says fall isn't always about pumpkin spiced everything. I, I'm i kind of a pumpkin spice latte girl, but it's like I don't need to buy every pumpkin flavored thing from Trader Joe's. Um, pump, <laughs> it says, especially in the early days when the summer's warmth still lingers. Exactly. For a good transitional scent that seems to fold both of the balminess of summer and the coziness of fall all into one aroma, go with homemade apple pie. The mixture of apple with orange peel, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and a hint of vanilla is nothing short of delicious. It'll smell and feel like an afternoon in grandma's kitchen. I don't think my grandma ever cooked an apple, baked an apple pie. Oh, so I now see that it says like Abel Tert. So it says, it does say apple pie on there, but it didn't say it in English, so I didn't catch it at first. All right, so let's see what else we've got in here. So this looks like it says hand wash on the go from Rustic Maca. So I think we got another hand sanitizer, which I mean, I appreciate that so many subscription boxes have sent us hand sanitizer. That is awesome. So just a little bottle here. It says, no sink to wash hands, touch something gross, don't worry, we've got you covered. Clean hand wash on the go, gets those hands and non-porous surfaces sparkling clean wherever you are. This easy to use, no rinse formula gets into every nook and cranny thanks to the handy spray nozzle. Formulated with soothing aloe and nourishing calendula flowers, clean uses the power of pure essential oils to get your hands fresh and dirt free. Fast absorbing and conveniently sized, this is a must have for every ew situation. So I do like having these in my purse and this is a nice hand size like they said I, I still prefer like the gel ones because I feel like I can get them everywhere but the spray ones work work pretty well too all right I'm trying to some stuff is really really nestled in here all right I am real excited about this now the box got got killed but I'm gonna looks like there's some little pop-out wings that I have to so you guys get the full effect Look how cute that box is, and it has these little pop-out wings, but you get the idea, right, with that picture. So let me find what this is. So it says, seriously, cherry chocolate. I have to find what this is. You're going to fall in love with Van Strian's cookies. Dark chocolate cookies have a satisfying crunch and are full of rich, decadent chocolate chunks. They are ideal for the true chocoholic. Cherry chocolate are fabulous, crispy chocolate cookies with chewy bits of cherry. These cookies from the Netherlands will fix your chocolate cravings. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and a cookie for a moment of Hugestund. One flavor included in each box. So I'm wondering, it says maybe there's four of them in there. I can't quite tell. So I usually prefer a chewy cookie, but I think that if I have it with a nice coffee, this this to me sounds like a breakfast cookie. That's that's what I'm gonna do it for. I'm gonna do this for breakfast. I'm a grown up. I can do co chocolate cookies for breakfast. What's your like most indulgent like breakfast? Like, I mean, I think breakfast anyway is kind of indulgent. Like if we eat pancakes and waffles for breakfast, why can't I eat chocolate cookies? All right, so we got another item. This is from Fleur and B, which is a skincare line that we've definitely gotten products from before. This is a vitamin C serum. So it just comes in this very simple, very hugelig uh, packaging. So it says, did you know that vitamin C is an amazing all over body boost? Nectar of the sea, that's cute, is natural vitamin, a natural vitamin C serum packed with powerful yet gentle antioxidants that brighten and even your skin tone. It also helps to smooth texture and protect from environmental stressors. The citrus smell will rejuvenate your mornings and calm you down at night. Only natural and organic ingredients. This product is 100% vegan and cruelty free and leaping bunny certified. So again, it just comes in this very simple um, packaging but very pretty I love those glass amber bottles and then they always have this kind of metallic pink as their um, lids so 
I like serums. I, I really want to use more vitamin C serums, but I've been working through so many other ones that I haven't had a chance to use it, but I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. So of course it doesn't want to go back into the box. And then I think that's everything that was in the standard box. And then I think we got one extra item in the deluxe box. And sometimes you guys, I feel like the FOMO and I see stuff that comes in the deluxe box and I really wish I got it. Like one time they got like a gorgeous scarf. And a lot of the times the things that come in the deluxe box, I'm like, I'm okay with not having that. Like it would have been fun to have it, but I'm okay with not having it. Um, this is, this is kind of cute though. So this is just a tote bag and I actually, I love tote bags, you guys. So this is from Danica Studio. I think we've gotten some Danica Studio products in Bombay and Cedar boxes before, but um, it just says snack attack and it's got all these snacks and I am such a snacky person. Like every once in a while when we're feeling lazy, my husband and I will just like look at each other and be like, snack dinner? Because sometimes that's the easiest thing to do. And it's like, I feel like when you say you're having like a charcuterie board, it's just a fancy way of saying you're having like a plate of snacks. Because that's what I reach for. You know, we'll get like these awesome pretzels and like different dips and like cheese and crackers and like snacks. Snacks can sometimes be like the best dinner. As can breakfast. Breakfast can sometimes be the best dinner too. But anyway, this is really, really cute. And they all have faces. And you know whenever you put a face on food, it just makes it that much cuter, which is kind of weird because then it makes you want to eat it more. It says, the feeling of possibility that comes with the beginning of the school year is hard to shake off. Over a decade of our most formative years, is it is hardwired into us, leaving us each September with an urge for stationery and a new bag. Whether you're headed to the grocery store, library, or work, this team tote is up for the task. A crossbody adjustable strap, ooh, two smaller handles, and interior pocket with magnetic closure. Keep your belongings safe and sound. A fun designer blurb is printed on the inside pocket so that is cool this is a little bit fancier than the usual totes that we get but yes I was totally one of those people who loved love love loved going shopping for school supplies and having that checklist and then like deciding to get the fancier trapper keeper put in the comments if you remember trapper keepers all right so I love that the straps, the little short straps are striped. That's super cute. And like they said, it does have a magnetic closure snap, which again is like makes it a fancier tote. And then we have this crossbody strap, which, hey, that is so cool. You never get that in a tote. This is definitely going to be one that I would actually take with me traveling. I always have like a flat tote, you know, because sometimes you just wind up with more stuff. But this is actually a great one to be able to do a crossbody. And then inside we've got this cute little, little slip pocket where you can really put stuff in. And this even has some little fruits, some little strawberries and a little peach. And what does it say? Snack attack by Aaron Gibbs from perfectly ripe fruit to all kinds of, to, uh, to all kinds of all sorts to ooey gooey pizza. There are so many yummy, delectable and marvelous ways to have a snack attack designed with love and an ample supply of chocolate in Vancouver, Canada. So I think that's great. I've never seen like a canvas tote that has both the short straps and an adjustable crossbody. And I just really like that. Um, it's got the stripey straps. I feel like that's really, really, really cute. Uh, so yeah, we've got some apple pie. We've got like a pretzel. We've got some healthy snacks here, like a pear. Um, let me know what your favorite snack is in the comments below. But yes, yeah, snacks definitely add to uh, that Huga feeling. So pretty good box. Not like my favorite box from them for sure, but I am so ready to get more Hugo boxes as we move into the fall because this is the time to really get that coziness feeling going in your house, to spend time with your friends, your family, to slow things down. Let me know what your favorite item was. I've told you so many things to tell me in the comments. We're gonna have nice fun conversations down there. And hopefully if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up to help me out. And hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.